Hi everyone, my name is Nick and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 2. We are today going to be experimenting with uh, a feature that I have never touched before and that is nuclear engines. So uh, this game has, let me find them, they're in here. Yeah, these. So nuclear engines i know so you might think about that and think like oh is that like a nuclear fission or nuclear fusion operation like how does it work basically all a nuclear engine does is it is a fission reactor right here and then that fission reactor heats up hydrogen gas so that's your fuel and then expels it out of there's rocket nozzles because at the end of the day all a rocket is is something that pushes mass, the mass being fuel, out of the rocket nozzle and the force of the fuel being pushed out of the rocket nozzle pushes the rocket forward. That's a very like low, low science explanation of what a rocket is. So today I'm going to try to build a rocket with a nuclear engine. We're going to see how powerful these things are and what kind of capabilities they have. So for one thing, I want to use the big guy, not the small one, because why would I do that? Uh, these are called deep space engines because they are efficient, but they are not necessarily strong. Um, so we can't use this by itself to get us off of the planet. So what I'm going to need to do is put some big honking fuel tanks on this thing. <laughs> oh, wow. That has that actually has quite a bit of delta V. Um, wait, hang on. What about... Can I just like, no way. <laughs> oh boy, this is a horrible development. We're just gonna make a giant ball rocket. 25,000 Delta V, are you kidding? Man, why would anyone use normal engines? Um, I'm sure I'm gonna like start using this and or take off and it's gonna be like, oh, it, it's terrible it doesn't actually work um, so let's put let's put a battery module well two and then I want to put two RCS um, RCS modules because I've been having some problems with that recently and then we'll put this here make it pretty colors what shall today's colors be guys Comment color schemes you want me to try in the comments and I will do it. I think we'll go for a hot pink today. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. There we go. Okay. Um, so, as a first test, it says it has 21,000 Delta V. I don't know about that. I feel like, is this going to be able to get off the planet? I don't know. Let's try it out. RCS on, SAS on. Is it lifting? Are we going, Bill? It would appear as though it is not. Oh, it's gimbaled. Cool. Yeah, no. Okay. So, that's, that's kind of what I thought. Um... Because the whole point of nuclear engines is, again, they're very efficient and they can get you really far, but they're not necessarily, like, strong. And to get out of Earth's atmosphere and out of its sphere of influence, you need a lot of delta V and a lot of impulse. So my solution to this problem will be both simple and elegant. I'm going to put some decouplers. Oh, i got to turn on symmetry mode. You know what? Let's just do four-way. Uh, yep. Note in the middle, please. There we go. And we'll put some... Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> oh, my God. I, when I play this game, I feel like someone's going to come, like, take my engineering degree away. Like, <laughs> I just make these horrible abominations. Okay, it's it's doing the countdown. I never knew this, but actually, yeah, they do like an in-game countdown if you just press like the first stage. 
There it is. We are off. I'm actually, we have so much nuclear fuel that I'm actually gonna kick on the nuclear engine as well. Because I want to gain a lot of velocity. Okay, we're spinning. Oh no, this is about to turn into the Starship launch. Let's just, okay, can we stop spinning? Okay, I, it looks like it's on a good path to orbit, but I have no control of this craft right now. And... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to finish with this attempt. Let's revert to the vehicle assembly building. Might be carrying a hair too much fuel, I think. You know what would be interesting? A nuclear plane... I wonder if that's been done before. I mean, that sounds like something that the U.S. government would do. Uh, so, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's build a nuclear plane. So, obviously, we're going to need hydrogen fuel tanks. And we're going to go big or go home. So, get that out of the way. Start with... Can I not connect you? What? Have I done something to anger the gods? <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, let's do it this way. Let's do a medium cockpit and then an adapter. I need like the, this one. Nope, this one. Yeah, there it is. Okay, and then I need the... <laughs> this is... If you guys watched one of my first Kerbal Space Program 2 videos, I built a... I called it a Super Bird. It was the most horrible abomination of a plane ever made. Like, this thing was just... It was basically like a Saturn rocket with wings attached to it. So let's add these nuclear, yeah, there we go. That's got some thrust. <laughs> um, and let's give it some wings, of course. Big wings needed for this. Oh, that's a stabilizer. Oops. There we go. Let's check our center of mass, the center of pressure, okay. So that's not good. So let's move here, here. Here, there we go, and down a little bit. That's better. Okay, large stabilizers. <laughs> it looks so dumb. Medium, uh, maybe. Here we go. And then, and then we gotta add landing gear. So let's do the XLs because there's no way this thing is going to get by with non XL landing gear. Oh, that's. Nope, not that. Probably can get away with this. Probably. If I just do a little rotate on these and then bring this one up. Okay. So because a plane generates lift doesn't necessarily have to have enough thrust to get out of the atmosphere or to have like any need for a really strong thrust and actually jet engines are optimized for oh wow this actually seems pretty fast jet engines are optimized for um oh of course it seems fast because it's not a nuclear engine <laughs> off my game today um, yeah jet engines typically are optimized for very high speeds and if you get a ramjet or a scramjet they a scramjet won't work at all uh, at non supersonic speeds and a ramjet might work but not very well um, so we need the nuclear or hydrogen they call it it's called hydrogen because the propellant is hydrogen but the thing that heats the propellant is um, the 
energy from nuclear fission reactions. So let's move these in just a wee bit. There we go. Okay. That actually raised our delta V quite a bit. Uh, and let's. Oh, and it has the gimbal. Oh my god. First mistake, giving me a gimbaled engine. Okay, we got a little flutter. I'm gonna turn SAS off for now. Because we have that natural angle of attack going. It looks kind of like a goose. You could call it the nuclear goose. It looks so goofy with those hydrogen tanks, too. Oh, it's gonna be so inefficient when it gets off the ground. Oh, it's so slow. <laughs> Maybe I should add, oh, okay. Gotta turn this ass on. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, it's struggling. And it's not even, yeah, it's not even using the fuel efficiently, like. Oh, oh, we have liftoff. We have liftoff. I didn't even know, like, think that we would get this far. Look at the, look at the shadow of this thing. Let's get, let's get the thumbnail, guys. Let's get the thumbnail picture here. There we go. Oh, get those angles, nuclear plane. It's struggling to accelerate. If I tried to lift it any more than this, it would, like, it wouldn't have it. Let's see if it'll turn without breaking. Okay, it does, but it's gonna stall because the velocity is decreasing. Uh, okay, we're experiencing a stall. Bill, you might wanna bail out. He's looking a little too excited for someone who's about to die. How you doing, Bill? Looks fine. Okay, how are we flying at 50 meters per second? That's absurd. Okay, turn, please. Okay, kind of works. My stabilizer configuration is not helping. All right, interesting, interesting. I wanna see if there's any way to make this concept like work or if it works for planes at all. I'm expecting based on these preliminary results that the answer is gonna be no, but we'll see what happens. I think what we ought to do to help with this is to add uh, more engines. <laughs> so we have these, right? They go on, they attach to something small. So if we get a small hydrogen, yeah. We can do this sort of deal. Just to be wildly inefficient with it and then put the actual hydrogen engines on here like this. The Pink Panther strikes again. <laughs> the horrible creation. Somebody should make a list of all of my creations and rank them on a scale of like abomination to horrible, like should be burned thing. <laughs> can't think today. Oh, she broke apart. Okay. Put too much weight on the wings. I will kill some of the boosters and we'll try to fly it again. We'll try to fly it again. So, let's see. I bet this would be good to get like a space plane. But again, they're like, they're made for deep space, you know? There we go. So, you know, they're not really like, they're not really meant to be used in the atmosphere. I'm kind of just like abusing the game. Are these gimbaled? No, they're not. Okay, that's fine. Look at that whole thing moving. Those linkages must have to be so strong. Look at, oh, that's really cool, the detail that they added in this game. I also just would like to commend the developers because the 
Stability has definitely, well, it's not good. It has certainly increased since the second patch was released. And it's made a big difference in the game's like playability, which is really good because the more people play it, the more content there will be about it and the more uh, the developers can work on it, spend time on it. Are we gonna lift off here or are we just gonna perpetually accelerate? Okay, come on, come on. It's so close. It's trying to get that front wheel off the ground. It's accelerating still, but just barely. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up the landing gear here in a second. Okay, ready, and as soon as we get to the end of the runway. Oh, it just looks like a plane that's really bad at being a plane. Okay, here we go, and lift. Okay then. Okay then. Maybe this would be better with a small plane. Like maybe I can make a little nuclear jet. We try that. I think this is, it's just too heavy to function. So let's just, yeah, let's delete. And then we'll take this little cockpit and we know we have these small hydrogen tanks and a little hydrogen engine. What's our delta V? 1100? That's not very good, but it might be enough. Um, let's add an inline stabilizer. Yeah, there we go. And some wings, small wings, little delta wings, and a small vertical stabilizer. I'm gonna make these like, like jet, yeah, there we go, okay. All right, so we'll see if this works. Let's have a look at our center mass, center pressure. Oh, the wings have to be like way far back for this to work properly. Like, yeah, <laughs> man, they gotta be way back there, okay. Awesome, awesome. So let's do, we can just do small landing gear because I don't think it's that heavy. Um, can I put these on the... <laughs> okay, that's too far forward. So maybe here? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, the nu this nuclear engine has no gimbling. So... You know, that might present a bit of a problem. I also forget to adjust the positioning. <laughs> it looks so dinky. The dinky little nuclear jet with our trusty pilot, Bill. What are you looking at, dude? I can't wait till they add the cockpit view back. That's part of the, part of the fun of the game is pretending to be the Kerbal and feeling the danger. Okay, all right, lift. Oh wow, okay. Very low takeoff speed. And pretty nimble so far. Impressive that it can fly at 60 meters per second. Um, can we ascend or are we gonna lose a bunch of speed? Yeah, we can't even, it can't even sustain us for this ascent. I hope that they will add like prototype engines to the game because there's a lot of like theoretical work that's been done on nuclear fusion engines and that sort of stuff that would be really cool in a game like this and why should it be limited by you know reality it's just a game uh let's can we land on the road can we oh oh mm, oh no um Ah, I almost saved it. I almost saved it. Uh, okay. Let's revert to the VAP one more time and see if we can build a mildly successful nuclear plane 
it seems to me like the answer to the question is no, but you know, it's worth a try. Um, okay, so what did we learn? We didn't have enough thrust, um, which is hard for me to fix when there's only one type of engine. So maybe what I can do is this. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bear with me, guys. Uh, small, nope. Why can't I read? There we go. Okay, and then we put an engine plate on that. Is that under engines? Um, no, I think it's under, like, adapters. Okay, I'll just search. Plate. Engine mount. Uh, yeah. Mount. <laughs> okay. Engine mount. Um, this is perfect. And then we just... Oh, wow. That actually decreased our delta V significantly. Oh, it won't even let me. <laughs> what if I just... What if I just go absolutely crazy and I just put them wherever I want? What if I just have, like, a homebrewed multi-engine monstrosity <laughs> our center mass is going to be all the way in the back yeah will it even will it even launch let's see will it even launch nope it's just going to sit on the ground like that let's see how quick we burn through our fuel retract landing gear <laughs> okay well, I think this is a definitive answer to the question. At this time, it is not, well, it is possible, but it is certainly not advisable to build a nuclear plane. I know this video is shorter than most, but I just wanted to take some time to explore the nuclear engines. Um, they're clearly for interstellar travel, as we learned here. Um, like I said, I really hope they'll add like hybrid, or not hybrid, but futuristic stuff to the game that hasn't necessarily been discovered yet. Uh, because that will be super cool to experiment with and you know you can kind of get creative with the values but thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope you have a wonderful day